Alrighty guys, we are back for another XTC match. We have Ukraine versus Peru. We've got Pavlov. I'm not going to pronounce his mis I'm not going to mispronounce his last name, but we've got Pavlov. I know that's his first name. Um, you can see the name up there on the on the on the overlay versus Antonio Sanders. Um, I do apologize, Pavlov. I can't pronounce it. I'm just I just know I'm going to butcher your name and don't want to. I don't want to do a um a Ryan Farmer. So we have. Seppi's on resistance, and I am joined by, I would say the handsome, but he's actually more filthy than that, Mr. Khan. How are you? How yes. are you? Yes. I'm not bad, mate, uh, and I'm super handsome, I'll have you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I believe you. I believe you. Just, yeah, you, you're too dirty. It's The problem is it's the dirtiness, you know, the, the yeah. list that you come up with and fly, <laughs> so dirty, so, Yeah. All right, I, it is a little too early for me to hit the ice tea, unfortunately. So um, I will try to give you my um, quality commentary for this match. Um, but we do have, we do have an A wing this game. I've been been missing missing the A wings on all the XTC series I've got, but we've got an A wing here. And so, it's Zari, no less. And it's Zari. That's right. That's right. We let's do a quick list break up while they're getting the placement of the ships done. Uh, which list would you like to do? I'll hit the. Um... I'll hit the separatists because I know you wouldn't want to be deprived of your A-wing um, adulation. So um, obviously we have separatists. We have the ever popular double fire sprays with Django and Zam. We have um, Django with um, slightly different configuration, Lone Wolf, Perceptive Copilot, Proxy Mines and Contraband. So really getting those double focus mods, assuming they doesn't want to boost. And then obviously you have Zam with Trick Shot, Proxies, and um, Contraband. Um, and does he also have Perceptive on he there? Has, he has Perceptive. Yes, he has Perceptive there as well. So And Proxy Mind. So it's a very interesting um, list because that Contraband is obviously very important, but the but having the perceptive co-pilot really does change how these fly because it's you know it's if they want to have the double mods they can't use the boost so it's quite an interesting build not having force points on these ships very different type of list that i wouldn't have expected yep absolutely um so both of them neither of them have force which is surprising it absolutely is a big change but we do see trick shot yeah it makes them very predictable to fly in terms of having mods but it makes them much more tanky because they've got double focus. You know, they're going to be trying to utilize terrain or at least, at least Zam is. And then you've got um, proxies uh, obviously on both of them. And that's obviously where they can, those points saved in not having force points has gone there. So it's a, it's a different list. Definitely different. All right. Just, Got the players getting ready. We'll do a quick rundown of Antonio's fire ship resistance. Um, so <laughs> we, we have um, this. This one is normally the fire ship resistance. For those who don't know, it's normally three X wings and two pods. We do some see some variation with throwing in with an A wing in this. In this case, we do. We have Zari. Zari with thread traces, no intimidation, but that's okay. We've got an A wing in the list. Therefore, the list the, the player with the more A wings is going to win. So I, um, naturally going to be cheering for Antonio. We have Zari with Thread Tracers, and for those who don't know, Zari is, she gets an action if she bumps. If she does not fully execute her maneuver, then she gets to perform her perform action step. We'll get more into that detail later. Um, I don't want to take the first 20 minutes of the game explaining why she's ruled incorrectly F uh, to AMG's forums, but anyway. Uh, we have Rose with C-3PO. So C-3PO there is there so it can coordinate a ship and get a calculate for the price of the stress. Very nice little uh, common thing we're seeing there with Rose. Um, we also have then three of these Red Squadron Xbooks, all of them with Heroic, all of them with Jamming Beam, and all of them with the S foils. So this is the, the beef part of the list. Get a bit of damage going, and looks like they've started the timer and are underway. So, yeah, off they go. Off they go. 
we've got uh, the fire ship resistance in the top right with the double fire sprays in the bottom left. Now, you also mentioned that, yeah, they don't have force, but they do have perceptive co-pilot, meaning they can be a little bit more tanky in the defense with having two focus tokens. Um, however, but they, have, but, they have, but they have to sacrifice their maneuverability to do correct. that. Correct. Yes. So they're more a little bit more of, of um, playing around the I'm I'm going to be I'm going to out tank your shots basically. I'm going to trade up with Zam doing the double tap um, instead of um, trying to reposition and still have a mod. Yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Um, I mean, from a pairing perspective. It's a tough list to go against. I mean, the resistance have got a lot of red dice, you know, good squad. Obviously, the fire sprays can get into a good position. Um, potentially, you can have one screaming around. You'd be thinking that Django here is going to be just basically flying up the table. At least that's what I think he'll be doing. And just basically trying to get into position. And Zam will then come in and, and bail out. I, I think it's going to be interesting. Absolutely. With this rock placement to see what, what's happening and wh who's going where. Oh, for sure. Both of them going pretty fast down the side of the board here. And I, I had a quick time there to zoom into those ships on Peru. I really like the paint job they've got given, um, especially that A-Wing. That A-Wing just looks so sexy. I mean, I could be, as I say, biased. I mean, I know, but still, look at that. Look at that paint job. Very, very A-Wing nice. could be painted literally undercoated with no, like literally a base paint, and you'd say the A-Wing looks beautiful. Yeah. That's what you'd say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Quite possibly, quite possibly. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we do have the RZ-2 and X-Wings versus the third best ship in the game, the Double Fire Spray. So we have had a disconnect. Um, if you could just pause the time. Yep, he's pause the time. We will pause that. Okay. So we are going right around the world here, guys. We've got uh, Peru and Ukraine and Australia. It's literally international X-Wing at its finest. So just have a chill while they reconnect i mean the good thing about the mod is it's got so much better over the time you know the mod designers have done a fantastic job and you know the you know resetting the dials is a lot easier when you when you reconnect things like that so it's great oh absolutely yeah the i mean i remember 18 months ago when we were first trying to play and um <coughs> it has significantly improved uh, all the little things, the from um, the what you call it, the range bubbles with the tiger locks and the firing arcs, and like everything's everything's been going. It's just it's an amazing job what they've done. Yeah, they've done a they've done, without a shadow of a doubt they've done a, a you know a superb job. And well, it's not only that; it's the fact that because of all the work they've done, it's kind of kept the community alive and going strong. Like a lot of people yeah. put off from Vassal with a two D lock. Um, I'd say the only the, the the diehard players would want to do it, but TTS is just so good to pick up. And here we go. He is back. So just wait for Red Five to rejoin. That is Pavlov. And he's restarting the timer. Beautiful. All right. So, who do you think who do you think is going to have this one? What what do you think is the who has as a favour to win this this match? What's your opinion? I think it's a tough game. I think my head says that whilst you've got Django and Zam, because they're perceptive co-pilot, they don't have force. If uh, if I think if if he can set up well and get that joust going and get an exchange going and there's enough ships doing that, I think that the um, fire sprays have a problem. Even with the double mods, the problem they're going to have is that they're going to have to basically trade, and you're trading potentially nine red dice with a Zam reroll, which you're not going to get every turn. Like yeah. the ram, the Zam double shot, 
and then you've got um you know three x wings um you've got rose rose is mainly there to coordinate but she's going to take some shots and zari's job is just to get some target locks on so it's relatively even um the good thing about the fire sprays is they can move around i think the proxy mines are going to have a big impact in this game if we can get good positioning on them Uh, but it, it, you have to go into the jaws of death to get good positions on proxy mines with all these ships. Oh, so sure. chipping away and getting a ship out is quick, but it's going to be costly. I, you know, if if these if these resistance ships set up well, then the the separatist ships are going to have a real problem trying to get the quality shots they're going to need to get rid of one of these X wings because you know it's you know it's seven hull to get through or three four hull and three shields. It's 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 hard to get through. I would say it's quite close, but my brain says I think the separatists probably don't make it. I think the the resistance have the edge, but it will really depend on the first maybe one or two engagements. That will give me a real indication here. Totally agree with all that. I mean, um, it's going to be a question of like because he's he's got, I I think, a lot of investment into getting those uh, perceptive co-pilots off, he's going to really try to get the... um, He's go- it's going to not effectively joust, but he's probably going to have an engagement where um, he's going to slug it out, and it's going to come down to, to how much damage he takes in that uh, in the opening <laughs> turn, and if he can go yes. th- if he if he has a pathway that he can get so that he can you know turn turn around or, or turn away and do a rear shot and then survive and then hopefully drop a proxy on. Um, yeah, also- I think the other the other thing you've got to think about is. You know, resistance beef wants the joust. He yes. wants it. He wants it every day of the week, right? Okay. Um, that's what his list is designed for. He wants to do that beef. The way this map is currently set up, that open space on that left where the resistance guys are actually occupying now gives them some real good agency to make some turns. They can push into to the fire sprays. The fire sprays, if they try and go around that rock on the, you know, the debris in the corner, could trap themselves in that corner. Um, this is where I would love to have seen one of the fire sprays slow roll yep. and one of them fast roll so they can figure out where to go. So we're now into this position where this fire spray has done this. Um, it will depend what he does next because... Oh, boost fits. Cool. Okay. He boosts fit. The boot, no, the boost, boost was going to fit, but now this is interesting. I, I suspect, will this turn in or will it do the same no, path? He, he did the same path. Uh, this, Interesting. I wouldn't boost here. I would turn in for the next turn, but then, no. okay. Yeah. So this is this is this is giving a lot of predictability. I mean, really, now you've really just said to the um, to the resistance list, turn in to the north, because yep. that's where I'm going to be. Exactly. Exactly. I was expecting some sort of split, and I totally agree with you. I was expecting uh, when he went three back with uh, Zam there, I thought he might turn in Django, because you want to give resistance a a tough choice. You want to go, I'm going this way, or I'm over this way. Which way do you want to go for? Um, yeah, I think I think with a list like um, with the fire sprays, especially, you've got to try and. Think, I mean, they're going to go after a ship, and if they can get into one ship, they're going to really hurt that ship. But if you can get behind it and start punishing some of those ships with shots and you know and and using your rear arc with the ship that's um allowing them to chase them that it's shooting as well you know you're going to have a problem where you're eventually going to get trapped in a corner at some point if you if if the resistance gets there but you're you're trading because you're hitting all the time with the the ship behind that's doing in theory decent shots um so it's it's difficult i think not having a force point on these ships really does change how they operate. So yeah. here, what does what does he do? I mean, you know, turning away is is all good and well for that next turn, but then they're absolutely trapped, right? Um, so, well, he could also turning do... in turn, yeah. turning in is turning in is yeah. You know, I don't want to be trading against five ships no. or four. You know, you, you're going to get a thread tracer. You're going to get three X wings, you're gonna get rows coordinating, stroke shooting, a lot of potential arcs. This is an interesting I'm surprised at the you know, that maybe there's a plan. There's a plan that I, I don't see. So let's see what the um, well could, what it could, could be could the fire sprays go like straight and then boost and then just try to, to get around behind that rock. Um well, it could be that the um it could be that Django just once offs and stays there. Yeah. And 
Well, they could and even, then what happens? Is... They could actually both just do hard one to the right and just use the rear, rear guns. Correct. That's what, But then you get yourself put in a situation where you, you've got to you know, get out of that corner, but that could be an option. The other option is, is like, has, has Zam just done the one hard, which would be great for Zam right now because he, you know, he takes the one hard, he boosts, he takes a few shots, but he's in a great position. But then there's that small little rock that's sitting there right in his way. Yeah. For the turn off, for the turn after. Well, I just want to know, make him, um, I know on the resistance list. So you notice that Zari was actually moving last, last time. He did actually boost in front of Rose here, but, um, which is doing that now. Zari can hang around the back. And one thing he's got, he's got tracer missiles on, on Zari. That means can shoot at range three as a three dice attack with it with denying the range bonus. So he kind of wants Zari to be at the back there. And by putting his ships in front of Zari, he can use the ability to bump and get actions to keep Zari back, to make Zari go slow. Um, I used to I used to really love about flying Zari with Jess because Zari would be my my bubble my range one pet for for Jess to get her rerolls. But at the same side is I'd, I'd just bump Zari, kept on bumping Zari in the back of Jess, so that. Um, uh, uh, Zari is the A ring is going slow, and I think effectively that's what he's going to do here. There we go. So there's just a, a blue move there to clear the stress. Bump behind. I was surprised. I was surprised. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, he was stressed anyway, so giving yeah. him an action. So and and bumping forward. Now I don't actually like that boost forward. Yeah, because so now he's in a situation where everything's got a token. He's yeah. got a target lock with one of these guys. He turned That's, away. Yeah, he's gone. He, he has gone. To, he has gone to turn away, which is really the best choice where he currently was. Um, yes, you can get trapped, but those ships have to turn into that corner and try and get you. And and he can do a hard one boost. Ooh, oh, now this. I don't know if that is. I think. I think, I think he's missing. made a mistake. I think that's a dull yeah. error. Um, I think so too. I think, I think he's very unlucky here because I think what he unless unless he made the decision that he knew they were coming in here and this was a smart move to come in here take take a couple of shots because you're not at the right angle and just go and plummet straight through for the next turn. I just worry that the rock will prevent him going four straight because they do have cybernetics on, so they can go over the gas the the debris field and it, it could it. it, it See the issue with him going right is Zam goes first, and then Zam can't get out the corner. Yeah. Now, a question if, for if you: Django was right. Can Zam put down a, a proximon without hitting Django? I think that is very close. I wouldn't risk it. I mean, I think the proxy mines as wide as a uh, medium base, so I think the answer is he's probably safe. Well, I'm not particularly sure I'd want to risk it. Um, does he need to drop the proxy? I think it's probably a good thing to drop it if he can. Just to stop the it chase, would yeah. I think the proxy mine, at a guess, is the medium base size, so I think he could probably get away with it. Yeah. So there's the first dice roll there, three dice, one hit, into one evade, no damage. Sam not taking a shot. Oh, I think you can spend one. You do have spend one. Of you do have four he's shots got, coming in though. Good. Oh, look at that! Blanked out. Give somebody. No, no, no! He's got. He's got. He's got heroic. He has heroic on those. Oh, hey, there you go. Only get just one. Takes two. Two shields. That's two shields on yellow. See who well, there goes. You go. Her Heroic is Heroic only worth one point. Them. Only one worth one point. Sometimes Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll, we'll find out in a minute if it's worth one point. We'll see if that one hull makes any difference. You you guys are heroic. Everyone out here in the chats. Heroic's too expensive. Get out of here. Interesting. Uh, spending that, yeah, for the tracers. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, it's only two because it's tracers. There's no range bonus. Yeah. <coughs> so that basically yeah. means it hits. So you can you hit roll the dice, but realistically, there's no point. Everybody gets a lock. Everybody gets locks here. Yeah. You get a lock, and you get a lock because that's going to hit. Yeah, I think the guy at the back corner might not be in range. Uh yes, actually, you know, you're correct. Yeah, with the shots we saw, I think um, red is out, 
Was Rose in range as well? I think Rose is probably in range, but he needs to check. It's this guy that he needs to check, I think. Yeah, yep, just giving him all locks. Yeah. So I think everybody's pretty comfortable that those ships can do it. It's just whether that last guy. Yeah. Now, yellow, I think, is out of arc. So there's only going to be shots from green and rose coming in. And you still have a focus. I think I think the, the big point is, is um, yeah, so it looks like the first four. Yeah. it's. I mean, he's setting up for the future, right? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Now, Zen, oh. That was a that was an attack, so that should reveal the Zam condition. Should have revealed the Zam condition, uh, but as it says, we can't and we can't interfere. No, no, we can't. But I do see he flipped over the two charges, so I have a funny feeling. Yep, there we go. This is the Zam is now shooting at Zari. There's two hits. With a lock. No, no lock because it was just the um the bonus attack. Oh, it's just yeah. it's just the bonus attack. <gasps> Zari going to spend. She's got to no, spend. No, no, no. She spent the focus on the three on the tracers to guarantee the hit. So uh, she's losing two shields. Half points. Half points. Now, what were you saying about how awesome your A wings were? I, hey, that's if that. I'm just also. <laughs> it's also a point of how bad heroic is because you know I wouldn't have done anything. If you don't have a focus token. Heroic does nothing. There's Rose. She'll get a reroll anyway. So like the lock does she nothing. It's two. Range three to three dice. Here we go. That's going Takes to be a shield. shield off on Zam. Zam's a perfect one to shoot right now because obviously the best target and also the condition's already been activated. Oof. There you go. Ouch. X wings. X wings. That's why you take perceptive. Hey, hey, look, and there we go. Dodges. Got the three paint. Yellow's out. So that's actually. Yellow I think, will be out. I think that was a good, good engagement there for Pavlov. I mean, I, I, I did not expect him to do that hard one with with Django, but it worked out for him this turn. I mean, Django can just simply. I mean, the problem he's got now is Django either goes and bumps the squad to try and jump over the squad. But if you're, you know, you know, does this I'm going resistance to give, list just I'm literally just going to ask you to do right. uh, dice duty? Can dice, I have you? Yeah, dice duty. Yeah, yes, please. I will. I will dice duty myself. I shall go to orange. Thank you. Well, I will what I'll do is I'll just leave my mouse in the corner. So yeah. I won't interfere with moving around. Thank you. But it, yeah. Yeah, no, it's interesting um, what's happened here. It's, um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a difficult, it's a difficult ask now for uh, the next move because Django going behind, I mean, that wasn't expected. Well, you got you got you got the two on Zari, and you've softened up one of the um, the X wings, uh, which Correct. which is good. I mean, the fact that you've just got points means now that um, Pavlov can just just be a little bit more defensive. And the fact that you've also the fact that that one of those X wings because two shields is quite significant. It means that now he's can be two shotted between the two ships. I think um, the other thing is you got you remember the fire sprays now could potentially instead of going right. Um, Zam. Zam could bait and go left, hoping that he's turning everything in and then boost. I don't think he'll be able to boost because he'll be out towards the edge of the board. Like if he turns you left. You never know. Medium medium sized base might be might be oh, enough. I, don't know. I think that's I think that's too much too much of an ask. The problem is if he gets caught out wrong, he's gonna be left with no shots. Oh, and... absolutely. I mean absolutely. I mean it's yeah. It you know, I'd be interested to see what Django's Jango's position is because I, I can't like you know his his straight maneuver if it's a it's a, if it's a really um like a four straight will definitely clip that rock 
yeah. that small rock there. Um, I think even the three bank left also hits that rock too. Yeah, I think the only other option does he just just take it and just do the soft the, the hard two away, but he's got no actions. He's stressed, and he's going to get shot to pieces. Assuming these guys, well, he turn he does right. he, so he does have cybernetics. He can still take an action. It could depend on what what the um, what Antonio does. Yeah, it's an interesting position for Django. And the other, okay. the other, the other question is: is does he risk a proxy? As you quite rightly said, it's very close. Because I do know that the wider bases, I th think it will fit. I, I, but how much of an idiot will you feel if you if you, if you yourself? bomb your ship I, I the more and more i think about it, the more i think that that hard turn was meant to be the other direction maybe maybe so it looks like dials are set they're just pulling out uh, the zam condition which most likely be yeah he's decided not to system just a little bit too risky that yeah. that proxy. Actually, for my own um, for my own edification, I think later I will just see and put two medium base ships together and just see if that would have hit because that's quite interesting to to know. Because even if it doesn't, like assuming it doesn't hit Django, even if it doesn't hit the ships, it creates such a choke there for those ships that they either go yeah. over the debris next turn. Zari doing Zari things, bumping into the back of a T70 and taking a focus. See, so, yeah, this is um, <laughs> this is what I fully expected to happen. Is the next phase was just a simple turn. Okay, Rose is um, bit of a Rose, is there. There. Rose bumped the red bumped, and Zari did Zari things. But you can actually boost away here, I think. Now a four straight. straight here, a four straight onto the rock would be actually absolutely gold. But I don't no, know yeah. if the four straight. Oh no, the four he's, straight. He's triggering. He's triggering cybernetic, so he doesn't think he's going to be bumped. He's going to go over the debris. Yeah. He's going to go over the debris and he's going to boost away. And I think he should be boosting down. You think boost down, I think a boost right, perhaps? Yeah, boost yeah. right. That's what I mean. Yeah. Boost, boost right, south, just boost right. Uh, you probably get out of one arc. Yeah, and then maybe be able to do a, a soft soft bank around the debris. The next, next turn. turn. Yeah. yeah. No, that's what I'm thinking, that he can yeah. then soft. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I would do here. Um, because right now he's stressed. He's got... He's got a shot, but it's not great. Uh, I mean, but so Epionic here thinks it's it's. You think the proxy would be fine, and because it's not one of the medium base. Also, he's heading to bed. So look, good night. Shout out to Epionic. Even though he's Team USA, and you know, as Team Australia has going, it's it's planning very hard to try and beat them in two weeks. I do wish them, I do wish them the best. Yeah, I think the US have played very well in this pod. You've got to give them credit for for playing very well. Well, they, so did still, they did still a lot of games towards, you know, the first half of the uh, the rounds. We saw no, numerous close close calls. Um, and then there was a shot there from Django, one hit, no damage. And returning returning shots now. Yeah, Rose, nothing. Zari, probably a long bomb. Yeah, just a pot shot here. I don't think you're wasting... Everything goes... Places. Everything, everything, everything goes into Django. Yeah. No. The thing is, is it worth switching the the traces for the other one? I think you just do a primary. No, I think you, I think you go primary here. Oh no, he's deciding to use his traces. I would, I would personally have stayed with that because I think you can get better shots on Zam next turn. Yeah, and on top of that, you've already got lock set up on on that. But so. he has, he has done that. He has got locks now. And yeah, good. Because we'll this, this. This could be a good move because you got to remember all three of those X-Wings have got mm. a potential shot now, on no, that's, Django. Now, that's just a little weird. 
He flipped damage, but I don't think he realized that was traces. So he shouldn't have taken damage. Yeah, not we can't interfere. Yeah. Um yeah. And it may be just a instinct muscle reaction yeah, that he took it. I will mention this into the Discord just for the, the, the um We can't interfere. You can't. No, no, in the Discord. You can't call it for the judge. You can let the judge and I Yeah. There's a there's and this is where the the tracer has been a good choice because there's three hits there straight away. Oh, takes two. Is it, and this is the problem with the fire sprays is if they get hit with no mods and you have to make that boost, that's where you're that's where you struggle. Um, you know, and look, he's got another he just clipped him there, he's gonna spend it on that blank and possibly give him another three. There you go. Spends the the focus and there's a hit hit crit there. And oh, Django's is... Django's Django's already gonna be on half points here probably. Oh, oh brutal. Two hits in the crit. And and this is where you know I talked to you about where I feel that this list because of it not having force points and the way it's done. I, I think from a pairing perspective this is not a great pair for um Ukraine. Because that's the whole deck, by the way, guys. That's the whole deck. It's the whole deck. That you can tell them. <laughs> Do you want me to ping the table? I just I've just typed it in there. They they might decide to to clarify that. Now I have I have I have passed on to the judges that that is actually I believe um, that took he took damage from from tracer missile because is that correct? Like the first hit, the first yeah. Hit look, was well, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't see um, the thing flip, but it could have been. Uh, saw, and I the first, him, yeah. Of, he, he and the first damage two, was two. Yeah, the first could, damage was two. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to pick up the whole deck. There you go. That's it. So, Epionic is saying that what? the proxy mine is a couple of mil wider than a medium base, uh, like just barely more than a template width. Okay. So, it would have been very, so he, very close on the proxy mine. Would have been close. What was the crit, by the way? Uh, it is fuel leak. Oh, that's not good because he's got another shot coming in. And he's down to three. Is that correct? He's down, he's down to three because he hasn't got hull upgrades on these. Yeah, and then he's also registered the two. Like, if there would still have been a crit there hitting, even if they didn't take the shield from the tracer. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. That is Django dead. Oof. And that is going to be all she wrote. This game is going to be very quick. Well, after that, yes. And there's actually, I say that, that yeah. that's why those two. Those two, that two damage there is quite big. Uh, as I said, I can't, we, we did the XCC rules, we have to do everything to a judge. So I have reported it to the judge. But um, yeah, unfortunately, I think, it's, I, think it's, in, I, think, I, I think in reality, yeah, he lives with one hull. Does he yeah. have, did he have another X Wing firing? Uh, he might have still had the last X Wing to fire. I can't remember. I was too busy worrying about the damage deck. Um, yeah. Because he fired with Rose. Um, didn't do anything. Um, he got Zari did uh, the tracers, and then he hit him with a. Yeah. Took some he shields. Also, no, if no. He, if, he boosted no straight, if he boosted straight, he might have been out of range. Do you think? Like... He may have been out of range with yellow. Yeah. Um, he may have been out of range with yellow, but irrelevant of that. Um, that turn in really put him in a in a That's very fine. very different yeah. spot, and it could well be that was a dial error. Yeah. You know that could well be a dial error, um, but saying saying that this beef list will love to see a fire spray list all day because if it gets any opportunity to take multiple shots on the fire spray, the fire spray is taking taking damage. Yeah, and unfortunately, this is exactly what I feared would happen with this list. It's 
was in a really good position, the, the resistance. It, it was in that nice open gap. As soon as those um, fire sprays went into that three bank and they went in that position, they were relatively predictable where they're going next turn. And the problem that, that he has now is that all he had to do was turn in. Yeah. All he had to do was turn in, shoot something. I think he was unlucky to lose Django there, but Django would have been mangled regardless. Yeah. And now Zam's in a, Zam's in an <laughs> impossible place. I mean, I mean, you hate to say it so early, but I think if 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 Zam could win this game, if 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 that single ship could win this game, you'd have to say that that would be the biggest rabbit out of a hat that you've probably seen in a long time. Hey, these, it, it, can the, it, can it can happen. 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 Um, I think that right now, based on the fact that you've now got this ship, you just push everything straight over the debris. You don't even bother trying to um, avoid it. Just well, don't even avoid it. Uh, we've got a question in there, Masa. What happened? So basically, the turn beforehand, he did hard one to the right with Django, and he did hard one to the to the left with Zam. Oh, sorry, with, sorry. Hard one to the right with, with Zam, and hard one to Zam. the left with Django. And we suspect he should have done a hard one for both ships. The hard one to the left with Django put him right in front of the debris cloud, which meant this turn, he popped his cybernetics to do two turn over the debris cloud, and then boost, try to boost away. Unfortunately, he was still in the arc of many of the shots. Tracer hit on two. The main thing is when the tracers hit on Django through from Zari, he flipped over a couple of shields as if the regular damage. Yep. And everybody there, then got blocked. And then the rest of the ship shot double modded into Django yeah. and killed him for the remainder of the damage. Yeah. We think and he, he would have been mangled. As, as we said, he would have been mangled even if he didn't flip over the two shields. Um, but it's probably the difference between Django being alive now and and or being dead. Um, however, I think that resulted from the hard one misdial. We think it's a carry. He call, he can, he's going to coordinate the X-wing here. Yeah, one would think. There we yeah. go. That's yeah. Yeah, he's going to give it to the X-wing, of course. And and this is exactly as I suspected. He's going to. He's going to. Um, Go straight over the debris with the other X Wing. He's got into a oh, nice good. position with those guys. And Zari. He's got that. He's gonna take he's gonna take tracer shot, but he can't now. He's got no more tracers, but he's now in a situation where Zam has got only one thing to do and that's to run and, and, and think. And this is where the perceptive co pilot with no force build is, I think, really weak. Um against this type of list. It's very weak because you just can't use it. You just can't use it. You've got to be right that now, way. he's potato, but right, you've got to boost all the time with this list to get out of arcs. That that was a unfortunately a terrible move there because he should have just gone one straight. Because now he's over the rock. Next turn. Yeah, I, I, was, um, I was expecting a, a boost straight here, but not the boost, the bank boost. The boost. I think he's really just trying to avoid shots, but that that was probably not it is i mean he's in a he's in a very bad space right now so you you know you got to forgive him he's probably sitting there thinking god i'm you know how do i get out of this and the answer is probably you're not you're probably yeah. not getting out of this um because the problem you've got is there's one he's just going to hit you he's going to hit you. it's safe he's safe because that had no mods that ship so yeah. he's fine also update there Generally, i mean for yeah, here i mean shield, yeah. i mean I mean, from here, I mean, he's just going to be recharging um, um, Zam here. I mean, the reality here is at least with the position in front of the rock, one one objective is is that he doesn't get trapped behind the rock. Well, he goes he goes straight over the rock yep. next turn, which he obviously has to. Uh, but he doesn't get an action. Um, he's got limited moves. Everything's going to be chasing him now. I mean, you've got to be thinking that the X-Wing, one of the X-Wings will do a three soft to get into the gap. The other two are going to turn it, turn down. You know, Rose yeah. is going to follow. I mean, he, all he has to do is take his time because the pro he can't even use the proxy at this stage. Well, he, he can always use a proxy. It just doesn't necessarily mean it will do anything. Um, yeah. Here's, a, here's another another shot. Ooh. Range Spence. three. This is the problem because there's just too many too many red dice. It's a I think it's a very unfavorable matchup based on builds. Nice roll, nice roll. 
Very well done. Here we go. Zam says, you can't touch this. Zam's sitting there going, I'm a ninja. I'm a ninja. (laughs) Who needs mods? Perceptive Copilot, I don't need that. I just roll better. Simple. It's easy. Even I got this rock over here in front of me. Yeah. Um. It, but okay. Yeah. So Django went pop, but I think that was okay. Django also pilot went pop because he he flipped over two damage from the the tracers. Now these guys are both big boys. Uh, we've also taken these stances to handle. I have reported to the judge just to let them know, but the players also should know better. Um. So I don't know. Yeah. Just like uh, as you mentioned, it's probably just an automatic thing that's like oh, oh to hit. Okay, flip it over. Oh, it's tracers. Okay, everybody gets a lock and forget to get the shield. Yeah. Off. Got, yeah. As I say, it's um. Yeah, um, which really, like, as soon as he lost Django for basically nothing that turn, he didn't do any damage. Um, he lost, he, I mean, literally Zari's taken two shields and an x wing's taken two shields. You know, he's on half points on Zari. Um, Django's worth, hundred. you know, probably 100 odd points. 101 right? points. Yeah, a, gazil- a gazillion, gazillion points these ships are worth. Brilliant ships, really good build. Um, this particular build is is super tanky build is what I would call it. Um, I just, my personal opinion is you need force points on those ships because you're always using those abilities and using that passive boost yeah. that you need to have. Because you need that passive force mod because the boost is so essential with these ships because you're bringing it because of the I-6 and the I-5. Um, yeah. And they also move you know, a lot and, too. The boost on those medium bases move. The boost, and then you're trying to get into to a situation where you can utilize bombs where you can. But but the thing about the resistance beef list is it it just literally just says, I'm I'm a tank. I'm a tank, and my job is just to shoot you. Mm. Yeah, and this is what we'd expect. I mean, he's just going to turn everything in. I expect a three soft on the other um, the other X wing. And probably a three soft on the other X wing, you know, or, or it might be just a couple no, just to clear his yellow did two just to clear his stress. stress. Yeah, yeah, clear the stress. Now that's right. So that, that raises an interesting point. If the fire sprays, if the separatist fire sprays lose the crew slot, right? The um, like like the wave bobber. Would there would do you think Zam, like for example, need as much uh, points adjustment? Because we've seen Sam, we've all seen Django and Sam both dominating the meta um, currently for the separatists, both in extended and <laughs> space. Yeah. Would it be worth removing the, the, the crew slot from, from the, the craft, you know? Bubba's craft? I think you don't. It's difficult because you don't want to overburden a ship. I think you just need to make some tweaks. Um, you know, force points on the ship's are making them very strong but it is important that you review the ships because i mean you look at all these major online events and you know Django zam is everywhere um now obviously it's flavor of the month it's but it you know there is a there's a real discussion about how strong this is sorry but i think oh no sorry yeah, bumped. oh no what is what a surprise <laughs> what a surprise i think what you have to also i think what you have to also give here uh it's pablo isn't it who's the peruvian right um um, pablo yeah he yeah yeah, he's flying very well he's flying very well he's using that bump mechanic very clearly that's antonio you know antonio uh, Antonio. is is resistance yeah so antonio yeah so antonio is flying in my opinion very solidly he's you know he's Put himself in the right, right position. He's ba- been able to capitalize on where the the fire sprays have gone, and now you know this 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 is going to be brutal potentially for um for for Zam. Okay, Zam probably has flipped to to, to get an extra shot here, so he's going to get a shot back. But he's got no mods, and he's sitting there. And this is the best time to shoot him. I mean, I would I would probably try and survive this and not even use my Zam trigger. Because yeah, I've got looks, no mods. He looks like he's gone for the trick shot on red. Oh, yeah. and just the one. Well, he took it. He's, you know, it's just one. Yeah, so he went for the trick shot. I don't blame him. I mean, why would you not right now? And, you know, now yeah, this Nathan, is... Uh, 
Nathan Squadron saying, just ban the fire spray. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> As an A-Wing lover, I don't mind banning the fire sprays. But they're not that bad. They're not, they're not that bad. Bad heroic. Bad heroic. Well, they practically did that with points. Don't don't, don't start me on a rant. <laughs> Do not start me on a rant, thank you. Okay, I'm trying to control myself. Uh, spins. Spins a lock. Oh, no, no, that's a that no, was mean, rosary roll. roll. That was a rosary yeah, roll, roll there. Too. Yeah. And and this is good good dub good dice, but this is this is where Zam could really get hurt here. Um, and there's his condition, which is probably um, what is his condition? I can't. I don't want to move my mouse now. I've got. A card. Um, yeah, no, that was. Is this the, uh, you better mean business. Yeah, better mean business. Yeah, so he's. You can. You know, he's not in a great position because. I wouldn't use it at this stage. No. Oh, was... Here we go. Spend the focus on Zari to do one. And he's got yeah, squiggles. Okay. Two shots, yeah. no damage so far. Looks like he doesn't need much. Yeah, but, 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 no, no, no. Hey, hang on a second. Now the three big guns. <laughs> the, big boys are, the big boys are in the house now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and they got double mods. They got double mods. They get, they get double mods. Well, yeah, oh, they will. Um, do you want to waste it on a rock? Check. Save it, maybe. I say it's spending both. Okay. Kept the so focus. This is this is actually a smart move here by Antonio because he knows he's winning the damage race over time and he saved the token for the revenge shot. Correct. And he's basically said, I don't care. I'm just going to stay alive because I've still got five ships. So I'm going to take my time. So I suspect you'll see here he will do the same thing. He will shoot him and he will not spend his token unless it's really exciting but who oh, needs a token when you roll like that crit crit, crit out oh, hey. oh. I, only, I, I, only, I think only a crit yeah i think zam got off a little bit lightly here depending on how what the crit is but that's power disabled regulator it's not the worst but here's here's an issue because there's no and it's just the right thing. He didn't use his token. He didn't use his card, which is it's the right thing not to use. Yeah. Um, because th it's a terrible shot with it with it, with them having tokens too. So I think All it's right. very smart of smart of Antonio. Don't use the tokens. No, he's using. He's his, got one more. He's got one one more X wing to go. He's doing a range shot onto yellow. Just so you know, he's doing a range shot onto. Yellow. Oh, he is doing. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't have done it. I'd have waited. The thing is, he doesn't know. Oh my god! I would have, I would have waited because yeah. you've got no mods. You may as well um, try and get into position, but maybe where he is, he's not going to get another shot. So maybe this is his last time. I mean, but the reality here is, is I mean, uh, Sam had the, poor, the, no, poor Sam, guy, the poor guy, the poor, the poor guys, um, the poor guys in serious, serious trouble. I mean, he's. Yeah, you know, well, he's, he's Sam, rocking up. Zam had a lock. So just just clarify, Zam actually had a lock. He's spending the lock to roll into two hits and a crit. Okay. And so um, he's going to have to re-roll the green. Dust, and he still gets three paint and says not today. Oh, boy. that's That feels disrespectful. Yes, highly disrespectful. So in the chat, it says this is not how to fly them as much as how to nuke them. Yeah, he's it's pretty. <laughs> well, okay, it's Wookie Bubba saying, pretty brutal. I, I, I like this. How, how to nuke the double fire spray? Well, I think I say I think it will come down to unfortunately Pavlov making a mistake on the hard one. I'm gonna probably ask that question at the end of the match. The hard one yeah. left instead of hard one right because hard one right is not so bad because you're turning away and then you start you start the resistance list chasing the fire sprays. Doing the hard one left also meant that he couldn't drop his own proxy mine because of the risk of putting it on himself and just left him in a bad spot. And unfortunately, Antonio was then left in a position where he can just punish, severely punish the mistake. And that's what's happened. It's one of the things where just one mistake has a, like a like a chain effect. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm watching a wildlife um, documentary and there's a... There's a there's a poor gazelle that has broken off from the herd, and there's a it, and there's a there's a pride of lions chasing chasing this gazelle, and it, and if you're you're feeling really sorry for the gazelle, and you really want the gazelle to escape, 
but you know that the gazelle is going to be the lion's lunch, right? It's that's how I kind of see it right now. It's like it, it's horrible to 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 watch because it's like you know there's there's no way out for this poor Sam. Um, you know, there is, um, no, there is. I, I, stop to, you, I want to stop you right there. I just, I just want to con- consider the three bank to the left. If you consider Zam doing a three bank to the left, there is a way out. To the left? Yes, the three bank to the left. Oh, you mean his right, left of the table? No, no, Zam's oh, left. No, oh, left. Oh, Zam's left. Oh, yeah, yeah, to, end Zam's left. End, to end his misery and <laughs> yeah. suffering. Exit the stage. <laughs> yeah, going to get out of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that there's an option. I'm saying there's an option. Yeah, go out, go out, go out by your own, by your own way, your own style. <laughs> Yeah, in your in your own um, thing. Um, yeah, I was sitting there going, "What are you talking about? I don't understand yeah. what you mean." Uh, but I do. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, this is. I mean, I personally at this stage would be turning hard one right. Hard, um, so hard one left. left. Yeah, hard one left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, this is a good move. Block everything. Come in. Because that's. For me personally, I think that's the only choice he has is to turn left and use a rear arc and then just, proxy if he can survive. Just use a rear arc, proxy, go around and escape because, you know, Antonio probably could cover both sides if he goes with the X Wing on the other on the other side of the rock. Uh, so, no, he's going all in. He's, he's, he's expecting him to, to turn in there. I thought he might split his fire. Because he's he's so far ahead, he's only four hull off yeah. from you know from getting it, and he's going to cover all these things. Oh, really? Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Sorry, sorry, bummed. Oh no, sorry, sorry bummed. You know, and Zari says you do not skip your action if you do not skip your perform action step if you do not fully execute a maneuver, which I should now take a moment. Now that the game has kind of gone one way, we can actually have a chat about it. If you read the rules reference and what your consequences of going over the rock is to skip your perform action step. Which your card says not if you bump. So I still will uh, uh, strongly recommend that people read the rules references and get on board the hashtag Justice for Zari because if she bumps, Justice for Zari. if she bumps, God, if she goes, if get, she goes over a rock, no support, no if, she, support if she goes over a rock or gas cloud, not not debris because she'll be stressed, but if she goes over a rock or a gas cloud and she bumps, she will still roll for damage and strain for going over the rock. I'm not saying you skip those; those still apply and you still suffer the effect from. However, the wording on the oh. rules reference is if oh he did a he went to the two banks Soft to the two. right. I really thought he did a hard yeah. one as well. I thought the hard one would be the most logical choice. Yeah. I suspect this will be Zam's last action for the day. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I think I think with the fire the firepower coming through here, I don't think actually it has a oh, shot. It, it, so it, he might it live. Depends, I think he's gonna live because it's only the yellow and Zari. I yeah. think the other one's just dark. But he's in he's in a really bad spot for next turn. And he's and to be fair, the fire spray's not been running great. Uh, but he has been unmodded. Oh, disrespect. Um, the 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 says no, nope. no. Nope. You got half on Zari. That's it. That's all you're gonna get. Oh, would you even shoot here, Zari? Would you even shoot here, Zari? Yeah, yeah, you might as well. You can't get a bonus attack, and there's a potential you can actually just do a lot of damage. Oh yes, he's out of arc. He's he's not in bonus attack. Yes, sorry, I thought he's in arc. Nope, he's good. No, Django, Django, not uh, take damage. Too good charge. Yeah. yeah so, so uh, I was saying is, look, read the rules reference. Read the wording specifically for the suffer that you suffer going over the the rock and the debris. The wording is you skip your perform action step. But why would you skip if you have a card that says you do not? The only condition is that you don't. You partially execute your move. So. Zari should get an action when you go over rock and debris. Sorry, rock and gas cloud. I think, and the, I think the argument is they're saying the core rules override the card. I think that's what but the go- but yes, but the golden rules say that the cards override the rules. If you actually go through the uh, the, the well, first maybe, page, maybe. here we go. Here's four Ooh, hits. And- four. Here's four. He needs hits. paint here. He needs he needs not just paint. He needs a he's token. He needs. Now he's oh! gone. Oh! And he's gone. He is out. Oh. That was a very, was, very quick match. That was a very vicious assault on the Ukrainians. 
Now, I hope the Peru, 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 Peruvians <laughs> have some um, have some soothing ointment to give to the Ukrainians because that was very very rough. Well, I just want to say that it, it couldn't have happened to a nicer ship. Everybody, everybody loves the fire spray so much, right? Look, I think it's I think it's a very tough matchup for 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 the fire sprays. You know, I think it's a very tough matchup. I think that um, this particular build of fire spray it was very susceptible because it can't utilize its boost without having because there's no passive mods then. And then you're just really running a naked dice ship. It's very tough. Yeah, and on and on top of that, I think I think the matchup depends on Pavlov not making a mistake. Like I think it can win because you've got the board information, but it requires the the how to say not making mistakes and making the right calls on Pavlov. If Pavlov makes a mistake, boom, he loses the ship, and that's what we saw. That's what we saw. Yeah, I think I think it was always going to be difficult for. Um, it was always going to be difficult for the fire sprays. I mean, it really, we, you, you know, Pavlov is, he's got to try and get into the right positions, you know, and I think it will be interesting to ask him about that hard one. Did he mean so to go away? Yeah, let's see if he's still in the chat there, because I know he's disconnected yeah. already. Uh, well, no, they've already, they've already left. They've gone. They've gone really quickly. I did not get a, t- a chance to catch them. Uh, unfortunately, that seems to be it. No, no, no post chat, no player post chat. I am sorry. Um, my money is on a, on the hard one mistake. I think it could just be it. Um, it could be just a dial error. I mean, yeah. you know, just one of those things. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, so the uh, the traces. Remember, guys, traces do not do damage. They just give locks when they hit. Um, and I think that that was a carry on effect that um really um made the game go downhill significantly fast. I don't think I was really expecting to lose Django there. Um, but anyway, that's it. Hashtag for it's justice for Zari. If you agree with the ruling on on, um, if you agree with me that you know I can read the rules and the rules reference you know and follow correctly, um, but if not, um, thank you, Khan, for joining us today. I'm sorry, it was such a quick one-sided match. <coughs> um, no, it's fine. It's just unfortunate. You know, I felt sorry for uh, for um, the fire sprays. I mean, um, it's you know it is what it is. You know, it happens. You just have to accept that that's what can happen at sex wing um it's a tough squad to go against i mean the resistance beef is very very um solid so you know and and to be fair antonio i thought um put his ships in the right place he played very well um so you know you're playing somebody who's playing his list very well and on top of that you know you get you get put in a very difficult position and you know what can you expect it's it's tough yeah it's tough now um you guys are probably just getting this now i'm gonna do a quick giveaway here um i've just i've I apologize i should have done it beforehand but the night bot is just getting up underway now so type in the chat ideally if you type in hashtag justice for zari you might even get a bonus in the luck. I mean, totally not, totally not trying to bait you all in here. But we're going to do a giveaway. Um, we will give you a couple of minutes there for things to catch up on that. GG's rough game in the chair for the giveaways. That's it. In the chat for giveaways. Yeah. Type something in the chat there now. Um, it'll be about two minutes before we go through and register. Um, really, really, really quick game. But we do. We'll be back later on tonight. We have a Singapore. Uh, Battle Royale Final. It is a top table for a side event that has been going on with the XTC. Um, and we we're going to get the two top two players playing that. It's at 9.30 tonight, which is... I will bring it up for you. It is 11.30 UTC, which will approximately be six and a half hours from now. We'll be back with the Singapore Finals. And this is just giving me who's, a delay who's to get you guys into the thing. So hash, no justice for Zari. Shuresh, okay, you're banned from giveaways. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make sure you're not you're not qualify for the giveaways. I'm gonna can't uh, anything you wish to say before I switch over for the giveaway scene? No, no, I think it was um, you know, nothing nothing to say. I think it's uh you know, unfortunately it was what we suspected would happen um in the game. I just thought there was just just, just too much firepower on the, yeah. the resistance side. And and force is a good thing. Force is a great thing. I'll say that. Yeah. Force is a great thing. All right. Who would have thought? <laughs> who would who, who, who knew? Who knew that force was so good on fire sprays? Who knew? Who knew? All right. I'm going to switch over. Right, Thank, thanks, man. No worries. Have a good one. No worries. See ya. Bye. Alrighty, guys. And let's just mute that. 
just me and you guys now we are doing the giveaways we have can that come up we're going to have three cards in the giveaway we have a jake we have a ray oh uh, that way upside down upside down and we have the yoda very nice there's a set of three they all have really nice images on the back there thanks to shane monk who gave me uh, several sets of these for giveaway no justice for justice no just for sorry what Zari did nothing wrong yoda taka you're my man okay absolutely totally agree Justice for Sunny? I can get behind Justice for Sunny. No justice for Siva. Siva deserves death. Zari who? Really? Alright guys, that's giving you guys enough time. Let's roll for it. Yoda Taco! There you go. You see Yoda Taco, you say you say nice things about Zari, you get the giveaway. Congratulations. I am totally not vibing you. I'm totally not rigged it. Promise you, Yoda Taco. Absolutely. I know giving yourself. Just think, I've been, I, I sent some stuff out to you, Yoda Taco, but um, I, I don't think I've sent these ones out. So you're going to get the set of three. And if you got, if you um, if you have got them, pass them on to another another friend of yours. But I will be sending them out to you. Exclamation point. Give me in the chat. Justice for giveaways, Shresh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're trying to get. You, you missed out now. So we've got the set of three. Will we do another one tonight when we do the Singapore match? So please tune in for that if you want another chance of giveaways. Because it's also the Singapore final, um, Shane Monk will probably be joining us uh, towards the end to um, discuss his current event that's got going on. We might even be able to talk him out into giving away some more stuff. I'm hoping to give away some of the hard plastic. We also have... I have, I think I have two of the Singapore XTC matches and I'm working on a Malaysian match as well. That's going to be on Thursday and Friday night. So, and we're going to do some more of those really nice juicy Singapore card giveaways for those. But anyway, the uh, Yoda Taco, that is yours. Type in exclamation point, give me in the chat and fill in the form. But I'll type it in there for you. There we go. There we go. Yep. Fill that in for me. To, fill that in for me, and you're good to go. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back in six and a half hours, something like that, for the uh, the battle royale final. See you then, guys.